<laughs> All right, let's take a look at how your world is shaping up today. Temperatures yesterday reached the lower 70s. It was a beautiful day. I hope you had a chance to get outside and enjoy. I spent the afternoon uh, cleaning up the pollen that was all over my driveway and sidewalk yesterday, and I'm choking on half of it, I think, right now. Temperatures are in the lower 70s yesterday afternoon, got into the mid 60s in many of our mountain communities. Uh, temperatures over the area pretty close to average highs. We were cool, though, yesterday morning, uh, getting down into the 30s in several areas, even had some frost uh, developing in some of the farmland uh, yesterday. Uh, temperatures uh, cooling this morning, but we're milder than we were yesterday. Uh, we're in the lower to mid 50s actually along the I-40 corridor uh, swinging between Winston-Salem and Burlington this morning. A lot of 40s north and even some southern areas Lexington, Moxville uh, checking in with uh, upper 40s and mid 40s in North Wilkesboro this morning. Still nice though, pleasantly cool we like to call that. Still worthy of another layer. Uh, sweatshirt not a bad idea, maybe a sweater or a light jacket just to get you through the uh, cooler part of the day. Uh, short sleeves by lunchtime though with temperatures up in the lower 80s a bit later in the afternoon. Uh, in the foothills, sunshine with some high clouds early. We'll start to bring in a few more afternoon clouds. Still mostly sunny today with high temperatures in the upper 70s uh, in the foothills and uh, 60s to 70s uh, for many of our mountain spots today. Sunshine with high clouds again building a bit more uh, during the afternoon today. But again, still sunshine will dominate. Relatively clear at the moment. We got some high cloudiness around. Still plenty of moonlight coming through though the early morning. There's a lot of moisture coming in. We kind of touched on this a bit yesterday. Uh, Pacific base crossing Mexico and picking up uh, some Gulf moisture as it moves our way. We've got a kind of a mid and upper level disturbance that's tracking through the desert southwest. As this begins to interact with this moisture and these converge, we're going to see a storm system begin to brew. It could uh, pack quite a wallop uh, over the next uh, 48 hours across the southern state, so we have to watch out for that. Uh, conditions up near 80 degrees this afternoon, as I mentioned. Again, some high clouds uh, possibility, still predominantly sunny skies. We start to shift our wind direction and bring in more of a southerly flow. That's going to bring the humidity back by tomorrow night, and we'll start to see some showery weather coming in. For Friday, we'll see some storms come through, uh, likely with some damaging wind gusts, likely during the day on Friday, tapering off by Friday evening as it starts to shift its focus. So more of an early day threat uh, as it stands. That threat area does get into our region for Friday with a chance for some strong storms. Uh, morning, afternoon, I think is the window now. It was looking like a little bit later in the day and then ramping up as it kind of moves into the Raleigh uh, television market as it gets east of our area. So I have to watch out for that. Uh, we'll fine tune this in the days ahead. I don't think we're looking at many tornado warnings as we were on Sunday. Uh, more of a straight line wind threat this time around. Temperatures cool in the wake of that for Saturday with some clouds and some lingering showers. Only a high close to 60. We're close to 80 again, though, by Monday of next week.